I'm gonna see how far back I can leave. Well, that was exciting. So, today's video was, uh, I just lost my train of thought. So, today's video is answering a question asked by our good friend Stephen Kirkman. I am now going to tell you all my top five, right, one, two, three, four, five, yep, yep, top five favorite TV shows. Numero uno, Doctor Who. This show, if any of you watch it, you will know that this show is amazing. It's so great. Ugh. So great. Best show ever. I love it to death. Like, seriously. It's it's just amazing. So good. So good. I mean, what's not to love about a show about an alien who dresses very well, by the way, uh, <clears throat> who travels around time and saves the world inside pretty much like an old-timey British telephone booth. It's called the Police Call Box, but it's basically like a old-time big blue British telephone booth. Like, what's not to love about that? Number two! Avatar The Last Airbender. I've watched quite a few animes in my lifetime, and as far as American only anime like um, like animes that started just in America didn't start over in Japan or something going by standards of that it is easily the best I've seen but anyways about Avatar The Last Airbender it's just so cool it's it's just cool like people that can control the elements Either, of course, for good or for evil or just for the heck of it. I mean, do whatever you want. That's probably what I would do if I was a bender. I would just do whatever I wanted. I wouldn't care if it, I wouldn't do super good stuff. I wouldn't do super bad stuff. I'd just be like, meh. Throw a boulder over there. Shoot some fire over there. Heck, I don't know. Make a giant wave for myself to go surfing if I could surf. I'd probably get eaten by a shark. I don't know. Number three. Sherlock. This show, like, it's just, ugh, I don't even know, like, I don't have words to describe. I don't hardly have words to describe any of these shows. I mean, I've not always, I've always, like, not really been a huge fan of, like, mysteries and stuff. But Sherlock, I don't know, it's just... It's just awesome. I mean, well, of course, the man with the most British name of all time, Benedict Cumberbatch. First of all, that's just an awesome name. Second of all, he's an awesome actor. I mean, it's just so good. And, ah, uh, John Watson being played by, oh, oh, what's his face? Martin Freeman? I mean, like, it's... Those two together playing off of each other so well, it's just so good. I don't know. And also, it's another reason to absolutely despise freaking frackin' Stephen Moffat. Grrr. Number four. The last American-made anime on this list, Teen Titans. This show, along with Avatar The Last Airbender, was like... My childhood. Well, this show, Avatar, and number number five on this list. These three shows. They've just been, like, they were my childhood. And just, and they made my childhood awesome. So great. Like, I don't know. It was just so good, and I just loved all the characters. The only character that I didn't really like was Robin. I don't know why. I just... 
hardly ever really like the main character. And number five, wrong side again. Number five. There we go. Five. SpongeBob SquarePants. If you know me, Nathan, or Paige at all whatsoever, then you know that this is a show that we quote all the time. Almost as much as Pokemon. Actually, just like just about as much. It's like our quotes are Pokemon and SpongeBob. They're like tied for number one. And then number two is like Mean Girls. And But yeah, seriously, SpongeBob. Originally, when it first came out, when I was <laughs> three years old. Yeah, I was born in 96. It came out in 99. Yeah, I was three years old. I'm guessing that Nate and Paige were something like that also. I probably didn't pay too much attention to the actual show. I was probably too busy slobbering on stuff and eating things that weren't meant to be eaten. But, yeah. Ta-da! Woo! Those are my top five, whatever, favorite TV shows. All these shows I love to death. They're just so great. And I hope that you all enjoy these shows, too. Yeah. I was challenged. And I can open this thing now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, my computer was being stupid. All right. We got scissors now. I'm going to open this now. Don't use these without parental supervision. I can do this because I'm 18. I'm an adult. Whatever. If you're not... Don't. Like, seriously? You could die. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Figured that would be a lot easier than unwrapping it completely, so yeah, what the heck with it? Alright, it's a Game Boy Advance game called Golden Sun. Nathan, you seem to forget that I don't have a Game Boy Advance and I can't play this. Well, that backfired a little bit. But hey, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, woo. I finally know what this was. I was hoping for a Pokemon game. Sad face. But yeah, all right. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. I love your faces. Is it I love your face or I love your faces? I don't know. I love your face and your faces. Until we figure out which one it is.